folks, JD here, and today we're looking at this. This is the TYRC Sky Overlord, and it's a transforming quadcopter, but unlike anything that we have seen before. So when you get it, it arrives like this. It's very thin, it's extremely lightweight, all in all, it really is a really small quadcopter. Now, in order to use this, you have to transform it. Now, in order for you to transform it, what you have to do is you have to pull out the propeller arms like this, the centre of the quadcopter with um, the printer circuit boards, the camera and everything else is in the middle here. Then what you do is you quite literally have to fold it back on itself. It's quite tricky and it took me a little while because it doesn't, when you're folding it all out, it really doesn't feel that sturdy. Um, and then once you have folded it all out, then you just push down the propellers like that until you have this. This is now what she looks like. And it, it's quadrupled in size but all in all it is still extremely lightweight it's made of plastic it does have a nice metallic red finish though now some of these features so you have a 3.7 volt 650 milliamp hour battery to the back above this battery you have an led status light which you can find just above here uh, this battery takes 40 minutes to charge it'll give you roughly five to seven minutes of flight time it has a fly distance of 50 to 80 meters but on wi-fi it has only a, a distance of 30 but even that i think is a little bit too far so you're probably going to have best part of 15 meters by the time you take in environmental factors into that as well your camera is a 2 megapixel 720p camera at 30 frames a second some of the features of this quadcopter headless mold Headless mode, altitude hold, you have three flight speeds, so you have 30%, 60 and 100, or speed 1, speed 2 and speed 3. You have, um, it's all controlled via smartphone, it's an indoor-outdoor quadcopter, so the manufacturers say you can fly it indoors or you can fly it out. Uh, it also has one key takeoff and one key landing as well. Now, all in all, it feels quite nice, it looks quite nice, uh, but how much does this little thing weigh, I wonder? So, as for weight with battery, so your flying weight is 101 grams. So it's a little bit heavier than the ones that we've seen of late. Uh, and that should give you quite a nice little flight. But I still wouldn't recommend you take it out in any high winds, otherwise it will blow away. Because still, 101 grams, even though it's heavier than what we've looked at recently with a lot of quadcopters, it's still a very light weight. Right, so let's put the quadcopter to one side. Oh, actually, before I do that, the on and off button is at the top. This had me going for a little while as I was looking at the side for a little flick switch. And it's not. It's a little depression button at the top. So once you push it, when the battery is, uh, is totally plugged in, then your little stateless LED will start to flash quite quickly uh, so let's put that to one side now what else do you get in the box well first of all I think it's fair to say that this box is really well laid out you have the quadcopter at the top then you have the manual underneath that now this just goes through the installation of the application which we look at at the end of this unboxing it's also in Chinese and English there and then underneath this you get something that I haven't seen before with a uh, a quadcopter. Now I bought one of these a little while ago and I never showed it on the channel because I didn't like it. But essentially what this is, is it for a smart controlled phone, you put your, for a smart controlled quadcopter, you put your phone inside here and then you open up the app and you can hold the your phone in a particular position like you would have a transmitter. With these two added buttons as well that just stick onto the glass screen of your smartphone, you effectively have yourself a little, um, a little analog uh, transmitter. Now, these are okay, they're not too bad, but I find that some, they're not always 100% sticky on the screen. So now and again, you could push up or push to the side, and it's not going to relay your control. But this is just what I found. Other people may have found that to be not to be the case and for it to work. So if, if you want to, give it a shot and see how it goes. But this is not something that I'm going to be using when we come to fly. And you also get a little accessory bag. So you get four extra propellers and a USB charger there just for charging the battery. And I think that's everything. Yes, it is. All in all, the way that it's laid out and the, the way the product is laid out is really nice. I like that everything has got these little foam inserts. It actually looks really quite sweet. So all in all, this will set you back £35.82. Uh, that It's not too bad. Uh, but obviously, in order to see whether it's worth it, we've got to take this guy out for a spin. Now, before we do that, we have to understand how this guy's transmitter works. So let me just put a couple of these things away. Let me just clear this up a little bit. And then let's have a little look at this app.
So the app itself is called FYD FPV and it is really slow to start off with. Now when you first open up the app on first install it's going to all be in Chinese. This second little button here you can click it and it'll, you can flick it to uh, say English and then you'll have your English there. So you have your help, you have your settings, you have your um, little game that you can play, which is quite cool. It's like a little simulator. You can take off and you can control your quadcopter around the place. It's actually, I've lost quite a bit of time to this, uh, to be fair. <laughs> a lot more time than what I should actually be saying. Uh, so then once you've connected to, to your drone's Wi-Fi, you click play. Now, once you click play, it takes you into a very standard looking app. Now, if we run across the top, so we have back. Then we have take, vid take photo, take video. You have retrieve your photo and your video. You have 100%. Now, when you first start off, this is going to be on 100%. It's going to be on speed mode 3. So if you find it to be a bit jerky, if you find it to be turning not quite smooth, then knock that down to 30 and give it a try again. In uh, what I found when I flew this is in at 30% with a 2 mile an hour breeze, it isn't going to go anywhere. So put it on 60 and you'll find it's again not very smooth when it turns but you're going to be able to cut through that little breeze. If you're flying inside you shouldn't have a problem. Next one is altitude hold. So as standard it's on but you can click it again to turn it off. Then you have uh, you have gyro control so you can, t you can turn it on and then you can move your app your phone and your phone's accelerometer is going to be able to move uh, the quadcopter forward back left and right as you can see the little analog stick moving then you have on or off if you uh, you can turn on and off whether or not you prefer to have those analog sticks on or off I like them on then the next uh, the next button there is just for FPV goggles should you have the ones that your smartphone slides into you've got gyro calibration which is this button here uh, then you also have a few other settings there also now in the middle we also have 360 flip we have microphone as well so you can say take off land left or right forward or backward and as you can see if I say take off okay maybe not hang on let me try that again let me turn it off come on there we are let me try it again take off land left right and the quadcopter responds should respond I should say and then we have standard uh, trim for pitch roll and yaw there as well down the bottom with these little little axis there and then you also have an emergency stop button right at the bottom down here so that is just a very basic look at your application okay so all together after that this is exactly what you get so inside this package you get your accessory bag you get your transforming drone and you get also get your smartphone controller uh, little device there as well should you want to use it so there we are folks thank you ever so much for watching and listening i've been jd you've been fantastic as always if you haven't already please like and subscribe hello and welcome to all the new subscribers i hope you're enjoying the channel so until next time my friends happy flying <laughs>